The United Nations says that nearly two million people in Gaza are facing severe food and water shortages. Nasser Sharif has gained access to northern Gaza and reports on the water crisis there. The water crisis in Gaza is hitting hard the lifeline of the displaced people here in Jabalia refugee camp. The Israeli occupation forces bombed wells and desalination plants here in North Gaza. We came from a very far away place to fill these barrels with water. We live in Kamal Adwan, we don't have any water there. We have to make a lot of effort to carry these barrels back to our area. We put the hose under the rubble to get some of the water that's not really suitable for drinking. The situation is catastrophic. May Allah help us. There are 70 people in our building and we need to bring water twice a day because these barrels are only enough for half a day. My father sent me from al area to get water from here. I told my father we have to live. We have to face the dangerous circumstances out here in order to stay alive. My brothers are with me. The water is sometimes enough for a day and sometimes it's not. I do my best to feed my donkey because I use my donkey to bring water. Sometimes we share our water with our neighbors. We put too much effort and walk long distances to get water. Every family needs water. God knows how many kilometers we walk every day to get some water. God help us. The water is polluted and a lot of people are having diarrhea and vomiting. There is no ambulance to take them to medical centers. The Israeli forces shell the wells so as not to give the people any chance to drink clean water. Besides the lack of water, there are other crises. There is a lack of electricity and food.